Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Need for Speed. I just need to sort out my keyboard because it's apparently gone all wobbly, wobbly on me. There we go. Right, welcome back to another video of Need for Speed. As you can see, I've uh, decorated the new old Mustang that I made in the last episode. Um, I said I made in the last episode, the recording went all funny on me and... Uh, well, you didn't see the building of it, so now I'm not going to show you the making of the decals. I hope you like it. I, I'm quite... Uh, as is tradition, whenever I come on this game, I'm going to sell these parts. Get free monies. There we go. So, um, I hope you like it. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I haven't... I don't think I've quite finished it. I've got to do the rear. There's not really much to do going on back there at the moment. Um, but I think everything else, everything else is pretty much how I want it to be. I think. So today, this is the hot rod update we're now in, as of uh, March fourth. And as you can see, all my cars are gone. <gasps> I've, no, I haven't sold them all, as you can probably tell when I go to click on here. If I go to purchase car, I have 216, so I can't have sold the cars, because otherwise I'd have a hell of a lot more than that. But now there's a new option. You can collect from warehouse, and this is where all the, my other cars currently are. So we've got my um, Hot Wheels Mustang, uh, Girlfriend's BRZ, my Skyline, and my, must, my New Shape Mustang GT. I'm actually going to bring that out of the warehouse for something a little later. So today, what I want to do is build a hot rod. Um, I want to show you this. I have been, I have played around with them. Um, there's two. I'm going to go right to the end because that's where the f one of them is. There we go. We got this um, the thing. Not really sure what it's about, but uh, there's not really a lot of customization you can do on it. it just looks cool. In general, so yeah, I think I don't think you can even upgrade the performance on it either. I don't, I don't think. And there's the other one, 1932 Ford. So we're going to get this one. Um, it's quite cheap; it doesn't cost a lot. So we have plenty of monies to deal with. Now, one important thing, because uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do performance first. Um, one very important thing that uh, you guys need to know about these vehicles um, and I'm about to get, show you in a second this option th there isn't an option you can't choose any force injection so that's no supercharger no turbos or only naturally aspirated vehicles these uh, hot rods which is fine as you're about to see the horsepower does tend to jump up quite substantially when you upgrade these things, I think they start off with like 91 or something like that, about 90 horsepower. As you can see, we're already reaching about 500. I think this is probably about where it stops. Action! This is actually going to be, we're going to make a grip build um, out of this, I think. So we're going to go with that. I probably already missed. No, I haven't got tires yet. That's fine. Um, so on grip tires. Because I feel like uh, like a hot rod is all about speed and quick times and uh, just you know looking awesome while going fast, basically. So I'll, I'll deal with the tune in a minute. So this is where things start to get a little crazy. So first of all, body kits. Body kits are not body kits on this thing. Body kits are literally new body. Um, so you can have coupe, we can have chopped roof coupe, uh, sedan, which looks a bit like a hearse, but never mind. Um, again, chopped roof or normal roof, and then pickup, normal roof and chopped roof. Now, I, I did make a, um, a sedan while testing these, and as a, while there are a few options on these, um, there's not really um, a lot else you can do with them unless you go with the trucks. Now, the trucks, um, this is what I'm going to build today. I'm going to make a nice truck hot rod. There we go. Put that on there. Chopped roof, windows. 
There we go, nice dark tint. Now the hood. This these vehicles are absolutely crazy when it comes to customization. So we've got futuristic race hood, which looks kind of cool. Uh, louvered hood, uh, split hood, which basically has the sides taken out. Uh, split strapped hood, uh, split punched hood, side louvered, louvered hood two. And that's it. I th actually, I kind of like that one, but I do like having the engine on show. I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go with that one. Uh, grill front bumper is literally just the grill. Uh, there you go. There's the different options. I think I'm gonna go with the tangle. No, no, I actually quite like that one. Let's go with that. There we go. Headlights. There's not really a huge choice of options there. Um, splitter. Why not? It's, we want to make it look like a truck. So, uh, oh, and we've got. Fenders, yeah. I mean, look at that. Pick up fenders. Let's go for it. Looks cool. Uh, now rims. Let's go over for rims. Rims. These don't have the same rims as all the other cars. They actually have their own unique set, which uh, I can't put that because that's a race wheel. So let's do that on the front. That looks cool. Um, we'll, we'll do the colours a bit later. Can we change? We can't change the size. And then the tires, it's literally regular or white wall. And these things, they just suit white wall tires, I think. Uh, wing mirrors. No wing mirrors. Okay. Um, now, what else? I've got exhaust. Now, you ready for this? Oh, I can't show you the exhaust because I need to take the side, side skirts off. Well, they can sit there for the time being. Tail lights. Yeah, let's keep the custom ones. License plate is there, apparently. <laughs> Trunk lid, can't do that. Tail lights. Um, diffuser. There we go. Nice big bar on the back. Right, change the frame. Uh, what should we have? What should we have? Need for speed. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Bayview, because that's an orangey colour along with the truck, and so uh, done. Okay, so there we go. Quickly built a truck. Uh, oh, rear wheels. Can't forget the rear wheels. Now rear wheels. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Yeah, no, we're not able to put the race wheels on, but uh, all right. Let's put the mesh on the back. Can't change the size. Okay, so why not? I'm just going to quickly see what the top trending. Oh, yes, of course. Flames and everything on them. Um, old rust bucket. <laughs> Another rust bucket. Uh, so let's, let's just do the paint. Go find a nice orange colour. Oh, probably it. Actually, I quite like that. <laughs> yeah, let's make it chrome. Look at that for a colour. Uh, let's make it. I want to make it like a. Oh, metallic. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Save. I'm going to save that for now. Yeah, I'm going to save over that one. Right, now as this is going to be a grip based, and we'll get to that last option in a minute. Um, oh, I'm putting this. Yes, I want stiff power nitrous handbrake. I want strong handbrake. Uh, rear. Yeah, downforce, diff. Open diff, launch control on. But I want you and you to be up a bit. Okay, so as well as uh, the addition of these hot rods, you might notice this one. Um, they have now added manual gears into the game. Um, 
and it's awesome. Now, one thing I won't be showing you is the manual gears, unless we do a drag race, because um, I am absolutely horrendous on a controller with manual gears. <laughs> I'm just saying. So let's take this thing out on the streets. I'm going to turn my volume up so I can hear this thing properly. And how are you guys uh, enjoying the new content? It's awesome that at least once a month they're releasing something now. Um, oh, there's a guy here apparently. You know oh. Oh, listen to that. Action cam. Oh. <laughs> God, it slides. I built this for grip and it slides. What the hell? Look at this thing. I haven't even, I haven't adjusted the ride height or anything, but this thing just, wow, this thing's just crazy fast. I'm actually insanely impressed by this. Despite the fact that I've tried to tune it towards gripping, um, it still slides like a bitch. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Right, somewhere around here there is a drag race, in fact, I don't know why, because, you know, as it's part of the new content, it's the new, um, new event that they've added in, which is awesome that they're adding events as well as new vehicles. Um, let us find it. So the drag events look like this icon, with the two flags. Uh, let's do an easy one. Neck to neck. Now, I've changed the controller configuration slightly for this. Now, drag events are manual only. You have no choice. It is, all, it is manual. And it's basically, if any of you guys played the um, Most Wanted... Was it Most Wanted? Do you have to do a burnout? So you have to do a burn out, get in the perfect zone, keep the revs in the in this red box. And there we go. Nos is gonna play a huge role in this. There we go, there's the drag event for you. Actually that was actually my best run. <laughs> I've ever done. Uh, messed up the gears a bit, so that's why I got the 17 seconds. But I've just shown you the power that is the hot rod. And this thing just pulls. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a time trial event um, just to see how good it is in an actual race. So. Let's find a race that I haven't done. Circuit dust off. Nah, no, I don't really want to do a hard one. I'm definitely not doing that one just there. That's that component parts thing, which is... Uh, let's do an easy one. Why not? Why not? Point, point, sprint race. <laughs> and you'll see just how epic these hot rods are, hopefully. Listen to the... Just listen. Ah, love the sound of this thing. So in the last episode I did mention about the turbos. I did do some testing off camera and... Um, oh, hello. Jesus, look at that drifting. This is a grip-based car, apparently. 
Okay, so um, in the last video I was talking about turbos and the different sounds. Um, I think the next video I make on Need for Speed will be a guide. I, uh, I believe it was the Mustang that I tested this on. It could have been something else. Um, I actually bought all the turbos. <laughs> all the turbos on one of my vehicles and um, tested out the different sounds and to see what they sound like. Uh, hopefully I can make a decent video out of it. Uh, probably won't be very long mine. Ooh. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking that would be a good thing to show you guys as uh, some people want the sound, like specific sounds of turbos and it saves you guys money if you can just look at a video and go, right, that's that, 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 that turbo makes that particular sound. I want that one, you know. And I think I'm going to have to do another race. I just... Wow, this thing just powers through. The other one is probably better, um, seeing as it's basically the fastest car in the game currently. But um, I don't think it... Um, but like I said, you can't customize anything on it. I don't think you can even do performance stuff on it. But um, right, let's do another race. Let's do a bit more, more, a more challenging. Assume the position. Let's do a hard. No, we don't want, I want really just like a sprint race, like that one. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm sorry if you can hear me sniffling, and I'm a bit, you know. Muffled right now. I've got quite. I've got a cold. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get rid of it for like the last week, with no avail. And um, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of recording today, tomorrow, um, due to. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I just had to mute myself because had a sneeze come in. Hopefully I caught it in time. Ooh, come on Hot Rod, go! Look at this thing pull! Okay so um, as I was saying, I've got to do a lot of recording today and tomorrow as um, I've got my brother's wedding next weekend um, on Saturday. So I'm going to be pretty much out of it all day Saturday and Sunday, well, I'll probably way, be way too tired to actually uh, do anything. So, oh, now it gripped, didn't turn. So, so yeah, uh, I'm going to get try and get a lot of videos done over the next couple of days, and now my nose is running, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because I am driving an awesome pickup hot rod. I hope they add more like this. I um, hope they do more updates where they add in oh dear, different vehicles like this. Not just hot rods, but like uh, other tuners. Say, like, let's say they do a, like a muscle car. Oh, hello. That was interesting. Let's say they do it like a. Oh, I think we're gonna have to change the uh, steering I think on this. So, oh god. What on earth is going on here? Yeah, I think the steering is a little bit too much for this to handle. Stably, anyway. Um, I might have to put it down, turn it down a notch. Which could explain why it's so drifty, but we'll see. So, um, but yeah, I, I hope they continue with these updates and continue um, adding content and adding cars. I'd like to see, like I said, um, say a tuner update. So they've added two new, uh, they've added this hot rod update, which uh, added two hot rods to the game and uh, customization. I'd like to see them expand on the car selection a little bit. There's definitely some cars out there that I'd love to. Uh, have in the game, like say um, RX7, no, no, not RX7, the RX8. Um, the um, oh, there's like 
there's one that I've really wanted to go back to and make again and I just can't remember off the top of my head. Ah, that's it. Um uh, been awesome to see if they added new cars like uh, they've got the Ford Focus, what about the Ford Fiesta ST, um, for instance, that would be an awesome little car to do, and i definitely, definitely love to see that. Uh, I mean, I do work for Ford, okay, so probably a little biased there, but, uh, but still, uh, it'd be nice to see them add a, a wider variety of cars, and, you know, maybe throw in, say, the newer Golf. Volkswagen Golf or um, some more Nissans like the 350Z or the 370Z which uh, would make some really awesome drift cars uh, you know things like that and I think I think that would be really really cool uh, to see what they did with that um, and obviously muscle cars so add in old school Camaros and I mean we've got old school Mustangs but what you know, what about Corvettes, Camaros, um, things like that, you know, old school stuff, uh, Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, um, there's so many cars out there that it would be awesome to see in this game, but at the same time, I love what they're doing, and, you know, a small update every month, a couple of vehicles or a couple of features, and... It's, uh... It makes a nice change to have a game that is actually properly supported. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like seeing the hot rods and my little beastie truck that I've got here now. Um, definitely going to be keeping it. Definitely going to be uh, doing some designs on it, doing some, uh, getting it all uh, looking nice and pretty. And. Until the next video, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Um, I don't do this very often, but if you did enjoy, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you like this video and want to see more, um, smash the like button. It all goes to a good cause. I promise. So until the next time, 